A lot of people today say that starting a career in IT is too difficult or even impossible. But let me tell you, that's a bit of a stretch. Yes, things have changed and the pace of tech innovation has shot through the roof. It feels like the more I try to catch up, the more my smartphone outsmarts me. But here's the thing. While everything's moving faster than a speeding AI bot, the way into IT is clearer than ever. If you're ready to hustle and keep your eyes on the prize, this is all doable. So let's break it down. Today, you don't need to fight through that. Want to work in tech? You could be a product manager, a tester, or even a web design expert. No coding required. With the pace of tech, you can dive into fields like AI or data processing and still feel like you're mastering it thanks to some nifty tools. And the best part? You don't have to be a coding whiz to carve your place. You'll find your niche, trust me. Now, let's talk about reality. These days, it's tougher to break into IT than it was five years ago. But here's the kicker. There are still tons of people landing their first job in a matter of weeks. Others, not so lucky. They might spend up to a year hunting for the right gig. The truth lies somewhere in between. And here's the thing I learned. When the road gets harder, you've just got to push harder. If it's tough, put in more effort, stay consistent, and keep your eyes on the goal. That's what this journey is all about. Persistence. Set your sights on your target, and no matter what obstacles pop up, keep going. You may hit roadblocks, but trust me, the rewards are going to be worth it. Now, we know it's not impossible to break into IT. The big question is, where do you start? With so many options out there, it can feel like standing in front of a menu with 50 different pizza toppings, overwhelming. But here's the truth. There's no universal path. Everyone's journey looks a little different. You don't have to decide your entire career path today. Experiment, try different areas, and see what clicks. If something doesn't feel right, that's okay. The beauty of IT is its vastness. You can always pivot. And as long as you keep learning and adapting, the opportunities will keep coming. In 2025, breaking into IT isn't about sitting in a classroom or spending years on a rigid program. You've got the entire internet available to you 24 7 From mastering the basics to diving into advanced algorithms, everything you need to learn is just a click away. But let's be honest. We've all fallen into the YouTube rabbit hole, starting with a 10 minute tutorial and ending up three hours later on CAD videos, wondering where the time went. The key here is structure. Focus on platforms like Coursera, Udemy and GitHub, where lessons are broken into clear, manageable steps. And here's the thing about AI. I'm not saying you should let AI do all the work for you and pretend you've learned something, but AI can be a game changer in how you approach learning and productivity. It's not about replacing effort, it's about supercharging your progress. AI can simplify your research, explain tricky concepts, and even help you debug code in seconds. Tools like GitHub Copilot can suggest code as you type, ChatGPT can clarify programming logic, and Midjourney can inspire creative design ideas. AI isn't here to take over, it's here to make the learning curve smoother and you'd be missing out if you didn't use it. Of course, aside from structured platforms and AI, there's still good old YouTube, packed with tutorials and insights, and I'll be doing my best to help immerse you in development too. If you find this content helpful, I truly appreciate a like and subscribe. It's a small action that makes a big difference. IT doesn't wait for you to be 100% ready. If you're starting with minimal knowledge, practice is what matters. Most real world projects in IT are based on trial and error. Personally, I still work on projects where 70% of the process is pure experimentation. Whether it's programming, testing, or project management, IT is like one big laboratory where things rarely work as expected, and that's okay. The most important part is to keep going and not fear mistakes. If we let every not found or undefined error scare us, we'd still be trying to write calculator programs on typewriters. So here's my advice. Don't overthink, don't wait for the perfect moment, just start. Every day, take one small step learn something new, build something small, or fix a bug. Success in IT comes not from giant leaps, but from daily progress. And if you've made it to the end of this video, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me keep creating content to support your journey.